Hi guys, it's Jay from Ayaba's Wind again. I am back. Um, I started a new um, Love Tarot pop-up series. Um, so I'm going to be doing um, Taurus today um, for the Taurus Collective. Um, if you have not seen any of my videos, I am a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition. Um, I do both um, Tarot Odu life readings um, and now the new series Love and Relationship um, readings as well. Um, so if you like what you see, please like, share, um, and subscribe to the video. Um, I will be posting more content. Um, I've just been getting over a little bit of a cold, but I am back and running for 2020. All right, so let's get started. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful holiday season and um, cheers to new beginnings. All right, so I'm going to say a quick prayer and we'll get right into it.
Okay, guys, so um, Spirit is only talking through these set of cards. I'll pull some more um, throughout the reading. So let's get started to see what Spirit has to say. Um, the first card that came up is com Karma is coming for those who violated the relationship. Okay, guys, so to my Taurus Collective, um, this is payback time. All right, karma is coming back around. So to anyone, whether it's you or whether your person violated <clears throat> the relationship or violated you in the past, karma is coming back around to kick someone's ass, okay? Um, this could be payback, payback, this is like retribution, this is the heavens opening up and basically saying, look, it's time to pay the piper. Um, you know, if you put good in, you're going to get good out. If you did not put good in, you're going to get what you deserve. All right. So karma is coming back around. So just FYI, be very careful. But keep in mind, these readings um, can take place over the next several days, um, several weeks um, or several months. OK, and then it's relative. Timing is relative. Um, so this could have just happened in the recent past. It could be ha happening now or it, it could be happening in the near future. All right. <coughs> so um, there is uh, an artist I and I designed these cards based off of um, different um, songs, love songs. There's an artist called Maxwell. He was big in like the 90s. Um, his song was Lock You Up and love for days till the cops come knocking. All right, so you guys have some really sexy, unfinished business to take care of, okay? And so basically, you know, whether it's you or your person, you guys are thinking about making love with one another, um, having that really sensual time with one another, getting lost in one another's arms and embrace and, you know, kissing and loving, like just um, the chemistry, the magnetism is insane. Okay. <coughs> so, so whether it's you or whether it's your person, you know, they are definitely fantasizing about making love to you, um, being in your embrace, you being in their embrace, um, and just, you know, loving on one another or literally, if you had the time, literally days, okay? Um, so this is a very, like, sensual card. Um, this card came up, um, a long distance or foreign lover. So it could be either you or your person. <coughs> um, could be from another country. Um, speak another language, um, just culturally very different, or this person could live at a distance, okay? Um, as, as I'm talking about this, I heard Germany, so this is not going to pertain to everyone, but s there's something that's significant with Germany um, for some of my uh, watchers, okay? This is not for everybody, all right? But long distance or a foreign lover, uh, lover figures prominently here several months so several months are going to be um really key so several months from now is january february march april may june july so something could be happening anywhere from now <coughs> to july um or something could have been happening these last several months but several months there is a significance to it, okay? It could be in the next several months that your relationship solidifies. Um, there could be a marriage, I mean, an engagement, a marriage. Um, there could be a pregnancy, um, but something significant is going to happen. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm just getting over a cold. Um... So sickness has come up. So, you know, it is flu season. Um, 
basically spirit wants you to, to go to the doctor to get checked you definitely want to load up on your vitamin C um, take care of yourselves um, because your 2020 is gonna be full of um, full of activity full of ideas um, as I'm giving this reading to you spirit is showing me that your creativity is going to be at its peak for 2020 so you definitely want to like tap into you know your artistic and your creative energies whether it's you writing um, painting um, sculpting sewing designing um, you know spirit wants you to um, definitely get ready to gear up for <coughs> that spiritual energy of creativity okay um, the next card that came up um, is Etta Jane's at last the lonely days are over so this is basically saying and Etta James is um, a singer um, rhythm and blues singer from um, I think like the 19 50s and 60s if I'm not mistaken um, Beyonce played her in Cadillac Records um, so basically uh, her song is at last the lonely days are over so um, basically spirit is saying like you're gonna be booed up like you're gonna be in a relationship with somebody okay um, so just get ready get ready start preparing your mind your body and your spirit to receive your lover summer is gonna figure prominently as well um, so I don't know if something this past summer happened but summertime is of significance um, like I said it could be a pregnancy it could be a wedding um, an engagement um, something significant is gonna happen in the summer uh, amidst all of this goodness um, and the love and the passion and the romance spirit is saying that there's a jealous there are jealous and possessive exes <coughs> <coughs> that may be currently blocking you guys from being together okay jealous and possessive exes um, so you definitely um, want to you know start um, doing prayers um, meditations on you know addressing these uh, you know jealous exes that could be standing in the way of you guys connecting with one another okay so prayers meditation you can definitely go um, to my um, playlist section of the channel and look at mantras to manifest <coughs> like love attraction um, beauty intimacy um, things of that nature okay and that will help to pull the love that you need and break um, the invisible bonds and chains of these jealous exits okay let me pull some more cards really quickly Okay, let me do one more pull. Oh. 
Okay, that should be enough. So let's see what spirit has to say. All right, so in addition to karma coming your way or your significant person's way, um, spirit is saying that spring is gonna figure prominently. So um, you have spring and summer where you may see the birth of um, this relationship um, growing and blossoming. Um, this card says I am only with you for sex and nothing more okay so I don't know if it's someone that you're currently dealing with or that you dealt with in the past um, but <clears throat> the sentiment here is that I am only with you for sex and nothing more so I don't know if you're with someone right now just kind of, you know trying to like buy time um, fill the space fill the void um, before your um, significant person your soulmate your twin flame whatever you want to call it comes into the picture but it's saying that this person um, that you are possibly currently with or you've been with um, in the past is only with you for sex or that you're only with this person for sex right now all right so spirit wanted to um, make that acknowledgement um, Spirit is saying that spiritual illumination needs to happen. You need to, and I had mentioned this before, go through your series of meditations. Um, you definitely got to take spiritual baths to kind of cultivate your spirit, to, um, to strengthen your aura, to brighten your aura so that you can pull and attract the things that you desire, okay, that are of higher vibration. Um, <coughs> high vibration um, energies okay so like if you're if you're not vibrating high you're gonna pull people uh, that are also on that wavelength and there's really not much that's going to manifest from it so spirit is saying that spiritual illumination is definitely necessary at this time okay in order to basically see the fruits of your labor um, and manifesting the love and um, passion that you want all right happy family so this is the equivalent of the ten of cups card so spirit is saying yes in fact you know you definitely have the potential to have a happy family love romance passion desire um, children all of these good things um, however you know it's not going to happen unless you um, move towards spiritual illumination okay or it could happen much more much much slowly much more slowly okay um, if you're illuminated those positive changes can happen at a much faster rate <coughs> it's just it, you know it's all entirely up to you okay there yet again karma is coming back for you guys so Taurus um, your particular sign big 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 with karma for 2020 it's saying karmic issue coming back to haunt someone yet again karma I'm telling you I hope guys that it, you guys were on point but someone in this relationship is going to be paying for the the abuse the pain the sadness that they caused the other person okay um, so just FYI karma is really really big right now okay um, there was heartbreak okay or there's going to be heartbreak for this person who suffers the whole karmic um, karmic payback okay um, but heartbreak is imminent here so whoever broke your heart or if you broke someone else's heart the the tables are going to turn okay and someone's going to get their heart broken all right and it's not gonna be nice <coughs> um, spirit is saying that you will be famous or you will meet a famous person all right so in the next several months and I don't know what it is you're working on you know we did talk about like creativity 
that it could be your creativity brings you this fame, this fortune, okay? It could be that you um, somehow meet someone who's famous. And what do I mean by famous? I mean um, someone who could potentially be prominent in your neighborhood, prominent in the community, or it could, this person could be, you know, um, someone uh, of uh, like a big time celebrity, um, a celebrity, an actor, a singer, um, someone of that nature. So, but someone, something has to do with fame here. So just get ready. Um, Spirit is saying that there are multiple lovers. <coughs> there are multiple lovers with this person. Um, so it could be right now, now, sorry, um, it could be right now that this person, um, is, is hard to make connection and contact with because there are multiple lovers here. Um, maybe you're currently dealing with the person and you don't know that there are multiple lovers involved, but spirit is announcing, like if you didn't know before, you are clearly clicked, you clearly clicked on this channel and this video to make the discovery that this person has multiple lovers or it could be you that has multiple lovers but spirit felt it was significant um, for you to know this okay um, so let me let me pull from the Kipper deck for any further clarification Okay. Okay. So, um, so what spirit is showing me that, yeah, the community is something to do with the community. Um, so this person could be live within your community. Um, this person, you know, I talked about someone being famous. Um, This person could be famous within the community, um, but your community is going to figure prominently here. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, there's an official person. There's someone, either a police department, um, fire department, um, military, <coughs> that's gonna figure prominently. There is a change that's coming. So I don't know, with this change that's coming, um, it could be that you are moving, um, that someone is moving in with you, um, that you're getting a new car or something of that matter, but there's going to be a major change that is going to take place if it hasn't happened already. So just keep your eyes open for that. <coughs> There is someone in your circle that is a false person. There is a false person. There is someone who's wearing a mask, um, who's portraying themselves one way, um, but they're really another way. So spirit wants you to make note of that. And through your um, spiritual meditation, through that, um, the meditations and the spiritual baths that you can check out on my discussion section, you are going to be illuminated and you're going to discover um, the reality of that masked person, what they're really about. Okay. Um, there's another card that came up that was Privilege Lady. So I don't know if it's that you're privileged, that you know you come from money, um, <coughs> or it could be that 
privilege is going to be on the horizon for you. Um, it could very well be that, you know, if you had lack before, you're not going to be without now. Okay. Um, and so, you know, definitely keep your eyes open for that. Let me pull um, an Odu card to see if there's any additional love advice. Okay, so <clears throat> Spirit is saying that marriage is being announced here. So, you know, remember I told you several months, spring. So there could be marriage that's being announced here. For some of you, for a small group of you, there could be um, arguments and war with your significant other, which could possibly lead to a divorce. There could be like a lot of discord with a certain group of watchers here. Um, Spirit is saying that you definitely gotta, you know, check your blood, watch for blood diseases. Um, so you definitely watch sexually having unprotected sex with people. Um, watch, you know, talking about your, um, <coughs> your private, information with people um it's something about you either you or your significant other that there are maybe some heart issues um so that could be physical ailments like heart disease heart palpitations heart murmurs <coughs> or it could be that there are issues of the heart where um it's not easy for you to love. It's not easy for your person to love. And so those bar barriers have to be um, knocked down. Um, and so, yeah, just be careful of, just be careful of um, people that you've had struggles with, um, tragedy. If you're a man that's watching this, um, it did mention that you have the tendency to have a lot of women and or a lot of children. So, you know, with that brings its own set of challenges and issues, okay? So, um, hopefully this reading was able to illuminate and expose certain things that you had questions about. Um, I will do another Love Tarot pop-up for January 2020. Um, but in the meantime, uh, if you have any questions or if you want a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind999 at gmail.com. Wind is spelled W-Y-N-D. Have a great holiday season. I will see you next month.